Hello guys, in this video I'm gonna create this logo and put it on different layouts and different products. So let's start. Okay guys, let's start. So first make sure you have Smart Guides on from View, Smart Guides or press Ctrl U to put it on. It will make your life much easier. And here you can see I have three colors which resemble my brand identity. The first color is B17B61. The second color is 232324 and press OK and the third one is white so let's get the star tool from here hold here and you would find it here and press once and make sure you have four two and three so you will have a triangle so with the selection tool I'm gonna enlarge it and you can see it's a triangle so go on transform and the width put it at 35 and the height at 295 and press enter and you'll have this shape now get the eyedropper and select this color and place it in the middle and rotate it with the selection tool holding shift and now zoom in and let's get the rotate tool from here just hold and you'll find it here and place it on this anchor and then hold alt and click once and you will find this plus sign with the four dots then click again and put 10 you can see that's how it will move so press copy because I want to keep the previous one and then press Ctrl D to repeat the action until you have like a semicircle. Okay. And now select everything and go to Window and Pathfinder and press on Unite. So it will be one shape. Okay. So that's the first step. Now the second step, let's get the Pen tool and click on the intersection here and go down about like 100. Okay. Now deselect and press on the intersection between this point and this point. So it will be here. And go to the other side the same way. Okay. And then press here and just drag until you have like a small semicircle. Okay. And with the eyedropper select the white so it will be a white color. And now zoom in. And hold Alt to get the two cursors while pressed on it. And just shift and drag and make sure it's minus 21 dy. And just enlarge it slightly on the right. And then move it so it will intersect. And now just copy it again on minus 21. And enlarge it again. And move it so it will be in the middle. And now copy this one, hold Alt and just shift and drag. And copy now this one. Okay, so you will have this shape. And now select all of them and press Ctrl G to group them. So it will be one group. Then go to Object, Compound Path, Make. So it will be now one shape. So now let's move to the third step, which is deleting this one and get the pen tool and put the stroke is about. 10 and the fill on none and with this color here the orange I used here on the stroke and just click here which is the intersection between this one and this one and then click here and then hold shift and drag to have like a small curve and then go to the middle and press and then deselect and then press it again and hold alt and shift and drag to copy it then go to the rotate tool hold to get the reflect tool Double click on it and go to vertical and press OK and just move them so they touch each other. Okay, this is intersection. And now let's get the text tool and click and let's write middle beans. It's an old project I had. You can write whatever you want. I'm going to place it here. Let's see the characters. I used Clarendon LT STD bold. So just enlarge it until it fills everything and place it nicely. And with the eyedropper, use the white. And now with the last step, let's get the circle tool from here. Hold here, you will find the ellipse tool. Draw an ellipse about like 54. And with the eyedropper, select this so it will have the same stroke. And place it somewhere here. And just hold Alt and just drag to copy and place it here and then get the direct selection tool and click on this side and delete and then click on this side of this circle and delete 
and now get the curvature tool from here and click once here on this anchor and then on this anchor and you'll have this nice shape so now just put it down make sure it's in the middle okay this looks nice let's click on this one shift this one to go to object path join so it will be one shape and then click on this one shift this one and go to object expand okay and they will be a fill instead of strokes and you will have these nice shapes here so maybe you can just select those and pull them a little bit up this looks better and now we need to put the beans so go to the this file which I'm gonna put a link in the description below it's a sketch of beans I'm gonna press on the opacity and put it about half and on the layers I'm just gonna lock the layer and add a new layer and get the pen tool and with the eyedropper select this color here which is similar to the black I used before and zoom in and let's start just tracing so after you traced the outer layer just select the three shapes you created holding shift and then go to window pathfinder and then click on unite so it'll be one shape and now put the opacity about half and press ctrl 2 to lock them and now get the pen tool again and make sure now the color is white and let's draw the inside So after you're done with it, let's zoom out and press Ctrl Alt 2 to unlock everything and press the black one behind and put the opacity on 100 and just enlarge it slightly like this. And this is fine. So now let's remove the visibility of the sketch and select all of this and press Ctrl C to copy and go back to the previous file and press Ctrl V to paste in place and just make them smaller and place them somewhere nice maybe here this looks nice just move them with the cursor until they are in a perfect position I think this is fine so now what we can do is press on this one the black behind and press ctrl C and ctrl shift V to paste in place and then press on this one shift this one and go to window pathfinder and click on this one which is the minus front and it, this one will turn into this. And now the same thing you can do with this shape. So press on this one, shift this one, and click on minus. And this one will turn into this one. And then press on the letters here and hold alt and just copy. And then let's write coffee shop. And let's go to effect, wrap, arc and put it at about 16% maybe press ok and make them smaller I think this is fine place them properly I think we're done here so after you're done, try putting the logo in different layouts using the main colors you chose for your brand identity. Mine were those three colors. So I opened a file which is 1080 by 1080 and I chose this as a first layout and I already saved it. The second layout I'm gonna change the background to orange and the logo to white and I think this is a good combination, I already saved it. The third one I'm gonna choose black for the background 
and orange for the logo. I think this is also a good combination. I already saved it. And the last one, I'm going to change the background to white and I'm going to keep the logo as it is. I think this is a good combination. I already saved it. You can also put the logo without the text and maybe change colors to orange, to black, to white, whatever it fits best. I think it's good to put the logo without the text. Sometimes it has a nice effect on products. So in this file, I put all the layouts I chose next to each other in a very proper and nice way. And here I put the layouts without the text on different colors to see how it looks. And I put the logo in different sizes to see what size fits best on the products I'm going to use. So let's see the products. So let's go down. You can see I have cups, I have pencils, spices, business cards, checkboards, bags, mails, bigger bags, shopping bags, books and notebooks. So taking these as a main reference, you can start placing the logo depending on the color of the background. So if you notice, all the products have the three main colors, which are white, black and orange. For example, here it has orange, black and white. So all have the same three colors I chose for my brand identity. So depending on the background, you can start putting these logos on the products. So if it has an orange background like this orange seal, you can place the white logo because this is the reference for it. And you can choose maybe an orange logo because it has a white background taking from this reference. And for the black ones, because we have two colors for the same background, I chose this main one when the color of the black is dominating. For example, this black is dominating in this product, so I will choose the main logo. Or in this shopping bag, the color of the black is dominating, so I'm going to choose the main logo. But if the black isn't dominating, for example, in this product, white is the dominating color, so I'm going to choose the orange logo. Or for example, this small black seal, I'm going to choose the orange logo because white is also the dominating color. So that's about it. So I'm going to put this file as a link in the description below. You can download it and change the colors of the products. If you want to change this, just click here and double click on the gradient. And you can change the color if you have, for example, green as your main color in your brand identity. Put it at green and place the logo and see how it fits. So that's about it. Thank you so much.